thought that was loud. All right. Diddy Love, how you doing? Dan Hope. This is a proximity check. I hear you on Proxcom, although it was really loud. Proximity good, test of no is proximity. But uh, Bowflex, I did hear you. What up, nephew? How you doing? Just getting my gaming on. Legion, uh, logo this or Legion, this is logo. Come back. Logo, this is Legion. Send traffic. Uh, what's the status on your away team prep? Over. That's awesome.
Second floor, this is a logo. How you doing on the pre-flight check? Over. Logo, this is second floor. Ship's ready to go. Uh, we're just waiting on personnel and instructions. They acknowledge. Stand by for both. Actual. Send traffic. Logo, the Nichelle Nichols uh, is ready to go. We have one cargo bay that is off limits, and we have two, it equipped with two ground picks. Acknowledge, what's the status on the personnel we're waiting for? Over. Acknowledge before we uh, egress. I'm curious to know what's the status on our um, our hangar, or cargo bay, whatever's off limits. Over. The status is uh, engineering related. We have scrap metal, um, and it is messing with the physics and allowing a drop to happen. Is this something that can be repaired? Uh, once we get out of Armistice, we, I was going to run with that by your desk, but absolutely we can try. All right, Helm, go ahead and uh, set a course. Take us just outside uh, Armistice. Um, what's the status on our air attack before we get too far out there? Over. Acknowledge, Helm, you're clear for D-Doc and Egress. Logo out. Oh, by the way, XO, uh, head to my ready room real quick. Um, so looks like we're de-docking right now and, um, looks like we have, uh, all personnel and equipment, which is awesome. We, uh, what I want to do is get that ground team to their location as fast as possible, but I want to address the, uh, is it the hangar? Yes, sir. Yeah. What the hell is up with the hangar? Uh, just uh, some debris from a leftover ship. How do we clear um, it? We're going to try to tractor beam it off. I've, I had to talk with engineering. Okay. And right. But we got to be out of armistice to do that. All right. Well, get them ready for that job. Um, I also want to pick up some, uh, some, some supplies to run from this place to next, but I, I don't know what's going for what price. So how do we figure that out real quick? Is that something I got to run by a person? No, sir. I can I can look that up for you. Yeah, just something good shipping. Um, you know, uh, profitable but safe.
I know the uh, Art Court Moons were pretty popular earlier. Interesting. You got to go from, uh, I believe it's Lyria to Area 18 is the delivery route, but let me double check. Copy. So we can travel to Arcorp Mining Area 5 6 mm -hmm. and pick up Tungsten. Without um, touching down? No, we'd have to touch down. Okay. And then um, take it back to the trade. Blackwell, actual, this is Sagan 4. Sagan 4 is in traffic. Yeah, just be advised, sir. We are just outside Armistice around Arkel One. Have them uh, have air cap. Um, um, have a air tactical run like a, a general air patrol. Keep us safe while we address the engineering problem. Copy that, sir. Scalp actual. Uh, run a tactical clearance around the Michelle Nichols uh, as we work with engineering to discard. Scout three, good copy. Have Helm remain at all stop for the time being. Second four, this is Blackwell Actual. Remain at all stop until the time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Blackwell Actual, this is second four. Good copy on station keeping. Ben. Does uh, engineering know they're, they're, that's what their task is right now? That's what I'm about to inform, sir. Awesome. Atlas 5, this is Black Bull Actual. Atlas 2, this is Black Bull Actual. Are there comms out? Let me, uh... Let me go figure out VR back soon. Yep. My crew is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, I keep a pistol on the desk. Although I don't like that placement. I'm actually going to put it underneath my desk. Hey, Mr. Broken. I'm going to grab this, but I'm going to place it right there. Yeah, just in case somebody come in and they want to get frisky. From D. Moros, party invite requested. Oh, we may have to, uh, I'm glad you just walked in. Um, we may have to uh, give someone else party invite duties because Vermin has it right now um, and he can't do it while he's on away mission. Um, copy that. Let me, I'll facilitate that. Thank you. You're awesome. Yeah, 
that's much better. Because it's like, you know, somebody might come through and you're like, hey, listen, I'll grab the heat real quick. Can I grab it quickly? I don't know, that might not be the best place for it if I can't grab it quickly. There it is. Yeah. So I just have to lean down and look at it like, oh, okay, bam. And I'm sure if I hit F and just fucking tapped it, I would grab it. Right? So it's in the right Request spot. Permission. Go ahead. Request permission to enter? Oh, you're in. Come on in. Yeah, all right. Let's go. It's funny. I heard you walking in. Why are you in a um, full exo ooh, gear? Oh, you're right. You're right. Came in as a CMO. Let me change up here. Yeah. Although you did look like you were ready for the shit to go down, which is awesome. We're gonna head to the bridge anyway, so we just walk together. Uh, did we figure out the um, the pass off for party? Can we give it to like broken or uh, someone who's on in on the on the bridge crew? I messaged him, and I've not gotten a response, but Broken did get in the party, um, and I will double-check now. Yeah, he's in fleet formation right now. We did just get a new party leader. Let's see who it is. Awesome. I just heard uh, Atlas Five. Atlas Five is logo. I hear you five. By, well, four by five. You're coming a little, little low. From Discord, party invite requested. Who has that now? I believe it's me. I'm gonna check here. Good. Yes, it is me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna. Logo, this is Atlas Five currently trying to dislodge uh, some uh, scrap from the hangar bay over. Acknowledge. How long do you think it's going to take before you're able to dislodge it all? Estimated time frame is about two to three minutes over. Acknowledged. Um, Sagan Four, stand by for uh, course and direction. <coughs> Um, where are we headed to get this tungsten? We are headed to Walla, sir. Walla? All right. Helm, set a course for Walla. Once engineering is confirmed, they have cleared the debris from the hangar. How copy? Second four copies, uh, setting course for Walla. Once there, we will uh, pick up a supply of, um, I think it's tungsten. And then we'll be heading back to. So we're gonna have to touch down. Um, if you're an air tactical, uh, make sure you provide um, uh, the proper air cap cover for us. Uh, but you'll be in tow as well. Logo out. This also would be a good time to second edition Norch. You want to call that over manifest? I will. Oh, the Kickstarter, uh, Mr. Trav2, the Kickstarter's been over for a while. Um, we raised about 16000 or 17000 From D. Moros, requesting permission to dock with the UFS Nichelle Nichols. <laughs> Didn't, oh, no, uh, you're good. We have, to, we have to wait on engineering. He can't, yeah, you have to, you have to tell him no. Um, okay. Or Helm has to tell him no, but either way. Let me... Well, what's another way this. he could, what's another way he could dock? I mean... Shit. We don't have we don't have room. We have two ground vics in the garage. So why don't we wait until engineering is done with that, and then he could dock, yeah? Correct. Well, let right. me put that over. Yep. Sagan four, this is Blackwell Actual. Uh, we're gonna have to deny the request to dock until engineering is done with the maneuver.
Just tell them to stand by until it's um, until they're finished, until they're completed. From finished. Flex Bowman. Second condition oh, Norch. Oh, you didn't add the. You didn't do a custom one. Uh, I thought I did. Okay. Well, if you don't know that that sound, if you're on the uh, civilian side, that's a yes. Second condition Norch. Fire when ready. I'll All hands that. is the captain. This is yeah. a good time for a second edition Norch, so if you haven't yet, um, please do so now. Uh, away team, once we get ready to set course for our destination, you guys are clear for your uh, bunker run. I'll copy. Speed copy, logo. Legion over. All right. Logo out. Uh, that's pretty awesome, and everybody here is pretty awesome, so let's get some Norch in. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Absolutely. So our Proxcom is working, huh? From Mago Sarah, party invite requested. Did you hear my Proxcom? I did not, sir. It might be because you're in uh, a posi a pose, but I'm not sure. Or we might be have to be on this ship one. Proxcom test, Bowflex. Let's see. Sean P is watching while he's also playing Boulder's Gate. Bro, I've been trying to get you into Star Citizen forever. You need to be here. You're being drafted at this point. Is this your plus one? Are you? Is this your plus one to the dinner? <laughs> it might be. Speaking of which, you ready to walk to the bridge? Absolutely, sir. Let's do it. So, um, I don't know um, how much tungsten we can fit on the ship, but I do know that we're going to try to get as much as we possibly can. But we're bringing okay. it back here, right? Uh, yes, we'll be bringing it back to Area 18. All right. The, uh, the trade post takes it in. I believe they uh, ship it out to Crusader for, uh, for ship manufacturing. Walk with me. So now I'm wondering, uh, somebody said, I wish my PC could play Star Citizen. Uh, yeah, well, it's not as much of a PC hog as it used to be. Like, it used to be really bad. It used to be really bad. That was with the new Gen 12 uh, update, I believe. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so, is there a reason why our uh, air tactical is in the same, or, or they're just in the fleet formation because they thought we were having a fleet formation? Probably that, that sir. All right. Yes, sir. Because we're st we're still at uh, formation time just now. All right. Is that engineering out there doing? Um, that is engineering, and I believe that is uh, Demoro, sir. Okay. Oh no, that that's actually air tech uh, trying to scoop that part off of the ship. Okay. I'm assuming they're in fleet formation because they're communicating that. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see what the hell they're. So that scrap metal is uh, obstructing our landing pad, and we are trying to remove it um, so we can park more ships aboard. Yeah, absolutely. So, interestingly enough,
we theoretically could keep Mr. Broken um, with the ship as air attack, and we send uh, Mr. Cosmic along with the air attack force that keeps uh, the away team safe. Correct. Because we have, yes, yes, sir. Right, we we would have uh, Scalpel 3, and we would have um, Broken. Yeah. I'm kind of interested in that. However, how much uh, how much did we lose in the obstruction? Like, how much From space Discord, did we lose? From Discord, requesting permission to dock with the UFS Nichelle Nichols. Um, we won't know until we hit maybe like a hangar. Um, this is a uh, logo. Go ahead. The status in the hangar bay with engineering, is there three pieces of debris over? That, oh, sorry, that are still um, uh, attached to the ship, over. And there's no way to remove these at this time, over? Negative, it appears that they're emitting some type of um, chronotons, and they are stuck to the ship. I love it. I do like that. Um, find out which parts of the hangar bay is safe for landing, and we'll carve out that area and make the area that's not safe for landing off limits. But if it's that whole area, I mean, we may just have to operate with half of a hangar bay today. Um, it sucks, but uh, can you do that in the next five minutes? Over. Roger that, over. Uh, at this time, we still cannot allow any docking with the Nichelle Nichols at this time based on the debris that's uh, in our hangar. So um, until we get an assessment from engineering, uh, all docking activities have been suspended. Uh, please hold your position uh, until we get an update from engineering within the next four and a half minutes. Logo out. Damn. I was hoping they could get that out of there. This is why we do prep time. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. I mean, we still got plenty, plenty of time. We got extra people we have to assign to. On the flagship, um, we got, uh, I see Mr. Anderson showed up. He's operations. So he'll be lower decks. All right. Um, who else? <clears throat> Broken. He's uh, on the flagship, obviously. Yes, sir. Uh, and then we have one more air attack that showed up. Ben? Uh, no. Mango Sarah. Oh, yeah, Sarah's supposed to be with Air Tactical anyway. So I got her, uh, Ben, Cosmic, and Noah. <laughs> Who's heading the obstruction mission down there? Is it uh, DePaulsack? The, that would have been uh, lost, lost AI. AI. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Not that I'm lost too. Yeah, not that I'm 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 upset at all. I'm just all curious. Right. I do see uh, Centric logged in. Yeah, um, ben. And yep. And so I got a party invite out for him and Mr. Anderson as well. Acknowledged. going to have to report to the Nichols. Atlas 5 over. 
Stand by Atlas Five. Um, Atlas Actual is going to have to uh, report. I want him on board the Nichols. Okay. Um, if we are all waiting to land, mm -hmm. um, if there's more than one person waiting to land, should we all go back to the station I to pick up? I think we should. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, have um have Helm um basically bring us about, and then we'll basically re. Because I mean, we would have to dock, right? That's a docking event. Mm, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Um, they can head to a pad and EVA out into one of our uh side oh, panels. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, still want to figure out this obstruction, but. We, we'll get a report in a, in a bit, so we'll know what's up. Atlas Actual will be on board to give us a better report. Is he not right now? Oh, no, exactly. He's not. Yeah, he's not. I'm thinking of Atlas 5. Yeah, because he may be able to see something that we we haven't seen yet to get that out of there. Okay. I'll uh, make the call. All right. Sagan 4, this is Blackwell Actual. Uh, be advised, it's going to turn us about, and we're going to pick up some EVA personnel. Um, if they're if they're awaiting uh, docking, then have them return to uh, White Forest as well, and then dock their ships, and then meet us on pad. Okay. All hands, this is Blackwell. Actual, be advised if you are waiting to dock on the Michelle Nichols, please return to White Forest Station and EVA. Also, Atlas Actual, your assignment will be on board uh, the Michelle Nichols. Sorry about that. No, you're good. Big copy, logo. It's a tag team effort. Mm. In your opinion, the best tag team duo in wrestling? Of all time? Yeah, of all time. Oh, man. I mean, that's tough, but I mean, I know if Tombstone's watching right now, he's like, Midnight Express, Doom. Um... <laughs> The Rock and Roll Express. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I would have to go with, I mean, the greatest tag team of all time. I mean, without saying Kane and Undertaker. Um, we'll go top three. Top three. I know you don't like to do, like, favorites. Yeah. I mean, so I would go, uh, I would go Dudley Boys. I would go Dudley's. Harlem Heat. New Age Outlaws? I mean, I don't know if I know that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Harlem Heat is, it's hard to pick against Harlem Heat. Uh, thoughts on Strange New Worlds series? I think the Strange New Worlds series is amazing, but I also thought of Discovery was amazing. I know everybody hated Discovery, but. I, I love Discovery. Me too. But we're also Trekkies, you know? Was it an interesting way to patch, hey, like, lore together? Yeah, but. hold on one second. Um, right now, we are waiting for... What are we waiting for? Uh, let's... Second four, this is Blackwell Actual. Come back. Blackwell Actual, this is Second four. Go ahead, sir. Second floor, uh, go ahead and take us back to home base. Uh, we're going to pick up some EVAers. Roger, copy. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, I was like, why are we moving? I thought we were moving. You know, I say the, the word and we move. <laughs> That's the way it should go, right? That's the way it should go, right? All fleet assets, we are heading back to home base at this time. If you do not have orders on board the Nichelle Nichols uh, and you are with the away team or with their escort, you are clear to head towards your first mission. Please radio if you have any issues or you need us to uh, come intercept any bogeys. Um, team lead, top copy. Scott, look up. Scott, look up. Legion actual, good copy. Atlas Actual, good copy. 
Good luck out there. Logo out. I love my fucking crew. <laughs> They're so awesome. It's not even funny. Um, Johnny Hoax. What's up, brother? What up, Progeny? Biddy's also in the house. Oh, yeah. Valkyrie's always representing. I'll be right back, sir. Yep. Yeah, I'm a huge Discovery fan. I feel like Discovery is is a. Uh... Atlas Two, this is Legion Actual. We advise you are transmitting on comms. Legion Act. All right. Sorry about that. What happened? Uh, uh somebody had hot hot finger. Oh, okay. comms, and that's Ooh. what you're hearing. Oh, okay, that's what I was hearing. Yeah, that's what you're hearing. So yeah, those are my fr my three uh, tag team. Okay. Um, I think Harlem Heat is underrated. Um, I I really feel like they are just athletically like just two of the most gifted athletes to ever be in pro wrestling, which you know Booker T and Stevie Ray. Um, mm -hmm. and then as far as like just being over the new age outlaws at their peak. I don't know who was more, who was more over than the new age outlaws. Like they were so over. And then the Dudley boys, I mean the Dudley boys, Devon, Bubba Ray, like those were, they were, they were just super legit, man. I love Devon. Devon is, um, sh you know, I, I should give a mention as far as to who I think my favorite, they may not have been the best, but, um, um, I think Mark Henry and D'Lo Brown were great together. Uh, okay. I, I thought, um, you know, the outsiders, okay. you know, Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, they were great together. I I like Kevin Nash. Um, Booker T was the one that did the flying leg. He he was really popular for that one, right? Mm. Like he would always hit you with like the side of his hip or something. Uh, he'd do a couple of things. He had to spin a Rooney, a bunch of other goofy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Legion of Doom, they were okay. Not my favorite. I like the Headbangers. Remember the Headbangers? They were great. The Headbangers were great. Um, Kai and Tai, which was um, um, Takamichi Noku and Funaki, they were great. All, right. uh. All hands, the Nichelle Nichols has arrived uh, and ready for egress. All right, so um, I take it we're picking up personnel here, right? Yes, sir. Be advised, this is Atlas Actual still needing to board. Okay. Yeah, picking up Atlas Actual looks like. So how's he boarding? Does he know he's boarding through EVA? Uh, believe so. Let's double check. Yeah. Atlas Actual, this is Blackwell Actual. Uh, be advised, you will be boarding through EVA. Thank you, Blackwell Actual. And Mago Sarah, we want her as air attack uh, with the rest of air attack crew. Yes, right? absolutely. She'll okay. be with the air attack crew. Perfect. But I will need to see her about uh, next week's mission at some point in my office. So, okay, I'll have you I grab will her at some point. Copy that. 
let me go uh, warn her now, and Ouch. I'll uh, I'll be right back. Yep. You know, the thing about sitting in the chair is how many things can you juggle at one time? You know, everyone always asks me, like, how come you have 19 monitors? You know, you don't need 77 monitors to see everything. And it's just like, actually, I do. Actually, I don't have enough monitors. If I, if I could, I'd, I'd be in a virtual space where I had 27 different monitors of different sizes doing different things that I could just rotate and move as I needed. But of course, I don't live in that future. I live in this future. And this future is not that bad. I'd do it. I'd do a basketball podcast. You know who'd really like that too is uh, RK Gold. I know he'd like that. Yep. Looks like we do have Atlas on board. Acknowledge, are we uh, trying to pick up anybody else? Is, there, is that no. it? No. No, sir. That that is it. All right. If that's it, have um, Atlas Actual report to my ready room as soon as he's uh, checked into sick bay. Also, mm -hmm. have Helm set course for wherever that tungsten rendezvous is and engage when ready. Copy that. Do you want me to head over to fleet formation and send uh, Atlas One in here? Uh, yeah. And also um, have everybody break up into their respective um, groupings yes, if they haven't already. Yes, sir. Copy that. Mm -hmm. I never think that door's going to open fast enough. The ship is so big that there's multiple vehicles inside the ship, which is awesome enough. But then when you get into like some of the stuff that these sh ships have, or these vehicles have, it's like, yo, the, the captain's like transport is silly. Like, this thing is dope. Commander. Uh, Captain. What's up, brother? Hey, open comms. Be advised. Good copy. Um, Not a whole lot. Yeah. Uh, I was. Uh, first of all, how you doing? 
I'm doing great. How are you? Good, good. Um, we have a situation down in uh, the hangar. Yeah, I uh, saw that with the materials dislodged inside the uh, hull here. Yeah, do you want to meet me down there so I can assess it with you? Yeah. Are you in the yellow shirt here? I am. Right, gold. I'm with you it's already. gold. Oh, Just gold. Kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like yellow to it me, looks captain. like yellow to me. It totally looks like yellow. I don't know if the captain has the ability to change colors or redefine colors, but <laughs> all right. So we got a bunch of crazy shit going on here. We got that thing. It's blocking stuff. Yeah. Uh, we got this thing, and we got this damn thing. So. Yeah. And they're all exceeding the. They're all exceeding the weight limit capacity for the handheld tractor beams. What about multiple uses of the tractor beam, like three or four people at the same time? Yeah, the pro the, the problem is, is the game doesn't calculate a coefficient for multiple tractor beams yet. Oh, well, um, that is an answer I would expect from my chief engineer, and I appreciate that. So, um... What are other options? Do we destroy it? Do we have to store the ship? Um, well, I attempted a physical removal with the ship, um, with, the, with another ship to try to, like, physically push it off, and it was stuck in framework at that, that no, amount, which makes me think Hold it's on. a full... Stand by one second. Yeah. This is logo. Go ahead. Be advised, we have one last uh, party member that is EPA, and then we will be ready to roll. Who's that party member? One, Mr. Anderson. Hey, acknowledge. As it stands currently, I huh? don't like that this thing's in the hangar, mm -hmm. to be honest, but yeah. it is, we are operational with it here. Like we could still we can still use the rest of the hangar well, bay. Well, okay, so right. for the for the record, but... Bowflex fell through apparently, and I don't know if this was causing yeah. causing some sort of a physics bug. So I don't yeah. know if that's it, something uh, as well. Yeah, definitely, my Atlas Five reported chroniton particles emitting from it. Yeah. So I definitely think it's possible some some uh, dimensional phasing could occur around these objects. But it doesn't prevent us from being operational. But it doesn't prevent us from being operational. All right. I mean, I guess we'll try the next time. I mean, what if we were to try to dislodge this with a ship? What would be the ideal ship we would use? Um, I mean, something smaller with a good health pool on it. So I'm not certain. I would have to ask somebody more familiar with the ship base. But mm. small and a large health pool, that would be my recommendation. And I guess finally, is it even worth attempting something like that? Is that something that could blow up the rest of the ship? Yeah, that's the other thing, is dislodging it will definitely do damage to the ship. Would it be enough to cause a explosion? I don't think so. But the chance is there. Oh, I'll let you make the call. You're a chief engineer. I just, I, I don't know if oh, it can Oh, I just saw the one more spark there. I say we attempt one more dislodgement vehicle the one more attempt at vehicle dislodgement and if that doesn't work i say we're good to go all right um do we we have to be out of armistice for that right oh uh, we won't have to be out of armistice for that we don't we'll just nope okay. we'll just uh well actually we should be out of armistice okay so then the uh, question is, is who's the best pilot to pull that off because if we if if it's if it's mm -hmm. abrasive and he's at helm then why don't we pull him out of helm, put another pilot in there real quick, and have him pilot the vehicle that's going to dislodge this, and you ground guide him? I think this is a good idea. Yeah, it's the best one we got. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, go ahead and head to the bridge and let him know what the plan is. Uh, we're going to need somebody to sit in that chair, so we got to figure that out. Yeah. Broken? All right. Yeah, we can put broken in there. All right, that's go ahead. That's a great idea. We do have tractor beams, Sean, but
but the problem is the tractor beams some uh engineering uh speak some some techno babble reasons um won't combine their forces so uh for some reason where we are in space and whatever the material this stuff is made out of is just not allowing us to combine the forces maybe it could be because of the step the stealth technology or something like that who knows but right now we can't do it so i mean but i got the chief engineer on it he's solved greater problems than this so we'll figure it out but shout out to lost ai for at least some um i think he got some of this stuff out of here but this right here we should be able to get this out of here to my uh, heading up to the bridge and we still have two uh, two fighter vehicles that we could deploy if necessary logo this is Blackwell actual be advised our last member has boarded and Michelle Nichols is green for one go Acknowledge EXO. So uh, I hatched a plan and I got a chief of engineering carrying it out right now. He's basically going to uh, pull Helm from the chair and have him try to finagle the obstruction um, out of the hangar bay, the last attempt. If that is not successful, we will be mission operational anyway and we will proceed on to our uh, first destination. I'll copy. Copy that. Uh, standing by, logo out. See, what I want to do is I want to set these, like, courses that my character could literally walk. And, like, I don't have to, like, use my hands or anything like that. Like, I think that would be really cool. But I still have to steer with my mouse. I have all this excess run. That was a good, a good suggestion, though, Sean. You want to, you want to be an engineer? Is that, is that what you're telling me? You want to join engineering? That's a damn good idea. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. Oh, I'm always working on new music. Always working on new music. traffic. Would you like to proceed to uh, Rawa and then continue on with the engineering exercise? Helm, what's our ETA to Walla? Yeah, so I'm I'm leaning towards set a course for Walla, engage, uh, and then when we get there and we're doing our pickup, we can go ahead and try to work on that. Uh, XO, any objections? 
Uh, no, sorry. Uh, there was a discussion about if uh, Megostera's plan does not work, we can then break. You try to use a vulture and salvage the material off. That also isn't a bad idea. Um, yeah, I, I say try her plan first, which is, I think, the best plan so far. Uh, and uh, if it doesn't work, then we'll try that other one. But we need to get on downrange so we can pick up our stuff. Copy that. Helm, you're clear to engage uh, whenever you're ready. Helm copies so engaging. Captain Gray, Demaros, please report to the captain's ready room. Good copy, Blackwall. Thank you. Hey. Commander. Hey. How you doing? How come I can't hear you? Oh, well. You're coming in real low for me. I gotta turn you up. Test. Mic check, one, two. Much better. Absolutely. Yeah, man. I'm glad you could make it. Yes, sir. Be I'm happy to be We are also on uh, open comms. Um, uh, second floor, second floor. Uh, yes, sir. I need you to move in close to the nickels and uh, engage your QT, uh, and hopefully it'll pull the nickels in with it. I'm unable to engage at this point. I'm spooled and ready to go otherwise. It's couple three. Good couple. Interesting. We were having jump issues, huh? Warp issues? Um, I guess so. Uh, did uh, XO uh, inform you of the plan? Of uh, taking over the helms Hold while they try it. Roger that, sir. Go ahead and engage your QT when ready. You uh, tractor beam an object into it. Yeah, but you were going to actually be, you helm the uh, nickels while he's. Three, um, four, okay, works. so. Thank you very much, sir. If Sarah's plan doesn't work, he was going to use the actual ship, or he was going to use another ship to try to dislodge it. But apparently we have a couple plans before that. But if we need you in the helm while he is doing that, I'll probably need you there. Copy that, sir. Um, but until then, we'll be going to pick up some tungsten. And, uh, you know, if we run into anybody, man, one of those yep. uh, missile pods. Or I've been on that missile pod pretty tough, man. Have you? Yeah, yeah, I've been actually hitting targets, so. <laughs> um, it, it's missiles or rockets? It's missiles. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know if there's a difference in this game. Well, like, I guess an unlocked missile would act the same as a rocket. Mm -hmm. Rocket would have shorter thrust time, I imagine. Right, right. Yeah, we got a away team that's out right now in the field. And we got a uh, solid air attack for for element air attack. Most yeah. of the uh, systems uh, are are operational, though we're having that hangar issue. What were you about to say? I was just gonna say it's a pretty good showing tonight. Oh yeah, it's great. It's great. We've been having some really good uh, formations, to be honest with you. And the fact that we've now linked it to the the stream. And now people can watch us play and get to listen in and get to see what we do. It's like, yo, it's pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, um, just make sure you're uh, scanning for uh, any KOSL pops. And um, yeah, man, you're uh, free to roam. Uh, I'm sure I'll have to put you somewhere where I may need you at some point, but you got free range. Yes, sir. Thank you. See you in a bit. Yes, sir. I'm 
So a lot of times, you know, I'm in my ready room and I'll jump on the bridge when, you know, I need to be on the bridge. But for a good chunk of the time, it's like I work with my team leads and my XO to disseminate like orders and execute objectives. Lobo, this is Blackwell Actual. Be advised, we are entering AO. Acknowledged. That's a good time for me to head to the bridge. Or on uh, Cap Mondek. As you were. Yeah, Mr. Anderson, let us know when you're over here. I'm here. You are? No. Oh, just stay Okay. Mr. Anderson, how you doing? I'm all right. My uh, manifest isn't really working. Just not letting you sign in? Yeah, my credentials aren't the right ones. Okay. We, not sure. Did we let no one know that that was going on? We'll get yes, that fixed. Okay, okay. cool. Um, uh, what, what air attack do we have with us right now? Uh, Noah is out there. I believe Cosmic as well, and I think Sarah's someplace close by, but I'm not 100% sure about her. All right. I, I see. Cosmic and Sarah off the aft. Yes, okay. sir. Uh, I was going to say... Um, we're going to send one one to scout ahead, one or two to scout ahead. Um, it depends on how far we are away from the actual AO. But if we're pretty close, we're, don't worry about it. We're 10 kilometers out, and Noah's already gone ahead on his own right, to, cool. to scout. Then he was reading my mind. I love this. Okay. Yep. Maybe. I love this reading our mind shit we got going on today. It's, it's like going really four well, instances of that. Scout one through this second for a good copy. Thank you, sir. Yeah, there are some um, ships on the ground, but they look, they look uh, derelict. Be advised, sir. I recommend um, Commander Broken take over helm because I believe the owner of the ship has to purchase the cargo. Okay. Yeah, he's aware that he would have to um, take over uh, for a time if necessary. So, uh, Abrasive, you comfortable with that going to get the gear? I'm okay with that, um, but is the idea that I buy it and put it directly onto the ship's uh, inventory? Yeah, why is that? Uh, usually, you have to be landed, and your ship has to be stored for that to work. Really? I mm -mm. believe so. Yes, sir. If, am I I've, wrong? I've. Uh, you have to be in the armistice of the uh, zone, and you go to the terminal and purchase the material, and it gets put on your ship by itself. Okay. Well, then hopefully I'm hopefully I'm wrong, and we're about yeah. Fighting. At worst case scenario, it doesn't work. I don't want to store the ship. Well, you can't. Not here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, um, I gotta get some food in me. Um, my shit's at thirty-five percent. Uh, down at the main conference room, sir, there is some um, drinks, and there might be some in this box right here. There's some on the box on the bridge, but uh, as usual, there's some yeah in the in the main room and yeah, down in the one of the box. Room. And if we do send uh, Abrasive down, I would recommend a team with him uh, to guard him, sir. Yeah, I'll put a team together. Copy that. Um, myself, Abrasive Cider, and Mr. Anderson. Sounds good. Myself, Broken, will remain on the bridge. Um, you know, if you need us, I'll reroute resources or we'll come down. I got the, we got the rifles and shit up in here ourselves, so we can do some work. Landing we are in armistice, sir. Oh, we are? Oh, okay, well, never mind. <laughs> All right, we are touched down. Um, shut the engine off. Uh, hop another seat. All right, so I was going to say, sometimes you got to break the law. But <laughs> Man, I'm not against it. We just, you know, probably won't get away with it. Real good. Yeah.
All right, I'm headed down the uh, the personnel elevator uh, back at the back of the 890. Uh, I'll wait on the ground for everyone else to show up before I proceed in. All right, I'll take us to the uh, way station or way thing. Broken, you have uh, radar sensors, right? You're able to scan the area? Yes, sir. Yeah, do me a favor and uh, scan the area every, I don't know, 10 minutes to make sure we're alone. Yes, sir. Guess it's a good time to sneak in a little Norch. Hmm. Absolutely. Yep. They're gonna come back to the bridge. They're gonna be like, "Did you guys smoke without us?" As soon as I get to the foyer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it'd be hard to like come on board Wide Four Station and not smell just just the dankiest. The dankiest. Yeah. It's like. How would you not smell that once you got on? Because, like, even the air filters probably can't filter out all of the smell. No. Especially, we just started getting in at my work um, live resin infused one gram joints that are like literally 50% THC. Really? God damn. Yeah. It's uh, quite the punch when you're not expecting it. Damn. That's wild. I mean, I'm always expecting it, but still, that still probably knocked me on my ass. Do you hear that? Is there like, somebody's walking? No, it's not like the opening and comp closing of compartments. Although I do wish that th we had this much light on board at any given time. I can confirm all our exteriors are, are closed. I hope this works. This would be a great idea to be able to run some shipping. But we do have three people on, three other people on board. They might have actually been able to include myself as well as. Uh, repeat last? We do have three other. Uh, personnel on board with us, so they may have been opening and closing stuff at deck below us. Who are those three personnel? The Pulse Act, Discord, Lost in Space. Okay. I'll be back. You have the bridge. Yes, sir. Ahoy. Gentlemen. Hey, uh, Commander, I just wanted to uh, let you know, um, right now, uh, we're the only ones on the ship. Uh, engineering and, and me and Broken so if we get into anything if I call yellow or, or red alert you guys will be manning the uh, turret tool good copy oh. we're holding position for now um, as soon as we exit armistice and are available we can conduct the second attempt at removing this object yeah what's the status um, on that um, did Sarah's idea uh, yield yes. any fruit yeah so we did a bit of salvaging oh, on it first who was that for was for me? Yes, sir. Send traffic. Be advised, we may need to remove the ground VIX and storage them here at the storage in order to load inventory. Sagan 4, this is Logo. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I have zero issue with taking vehicles out and leaving them somewhere. Alright, go ahead and do it. Um, wait. 
Do you need help? Do you need engineers for that? That, that would be great, sir. I will send uh, one Mr. Anderson over to help with engineering. Acknowledged. I'll have uh, Chief of Engineering assigned as well. Um, so yeah, if uh, you want to put whoever in here on that, or Mr. Anderson will also be coming down to Lower Decks to help out, so you can put him wherever, but we need those. Level 3 to anybody that's listening, got one contact on radar, he's coming in for a landing at your location. He does not seem to be hostile, but we'll investigate. Acknowledge intercept and uh, gauge intentions. Uh, should I go yellow alert? Uh, I think so, Captain. Yeah, well, that's a yellow alert. From Captain Gray, yellow alert all hands report to battle stations until further notice. Um, go ahead and pick whoever you want to uh, move those vehicles. Um, and then anybody else, go ahead and uh, hit these turrets if you can make it to the bridge. Yeah, I've got lost heading that way already. All right. Good stuff. I'll leave you to it. Copy. copy. All right. Yeah, I called yellow alert on that... Uh, that bogey. You get any info on him? Uh, player named Blarg, Aurora MX. Uh, it could be a pretty serious threat to ground troops, but not to the 890. Is this him right here? Yeah, just off to our port. Port bow. Oh, shit. I can't lock missile target in armistice zone. Is this him in front of us? That's yes, there. Hey, how's it going? Hey, good. you here to pick up some cargo? Alright, alright. Sounds good. Logo, this is Blackwell Actual Be advised, I have proximity com verified the target. No hostile actions, he is on a mission. Acknowledged. Great work. I totally forgot with proximity chat, now we can hail people, so that's that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Alright, uh, stand down, yellow alert. From Captain Gray, all clear. From Flex Bowman, all clear. From Flex Bowman, all clear. From Flex Bowman, uh -oh. all clear. Double alarm there. Oh, it gave me like seven alarms. <laughs> oh. I only heard one from each of you. Yeah. Um, did you pick him up on radar when I was in, yeah. uh, in the lower decks? Okay. Yeah, just as uh, they commented it over, I was picking him up. Yep. Because I know AirTac got him first, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so that's why I love Air Cabin. Because it's like you, you're, it extends the radar net out to where you could just catch more people. You're like, all right, we know yeah. you're here. <laughs> yeah, earlier, I, too. Yeah, I do hate that this is an armistice, though, that, like, even if we wanted to engage, we couldn't. Who's this off of our uh, starboard bow? Is that him? In the Cuddy? Oh, Cuddy, that's uh, Margo, Margo Sarah. Oh, okay, I don't have a marker on her. She not in... She is in the party. Okay, so it's a bug on my end. 
Don't forget to hit that like button if you're in the stream. We'd appreciate it. Taking a look at the uh, the loading dock, and it looks like the Centurion got flipped. The Centurion got flipped. The ballista, sorry. Oh, with our people inside. I don't know. Don't have markers when you're in third person, do you? We've got at least two still in the cargo bay. It's interesting too because if somebody came in here into this airspace and they saw you know in three combat ships yeah in an 890 yeah they're not gonna try to hello go this is atlas the actual come back this is in traffic uh upon dropping the lower elevator to remove the ballista the ballista immediately rolled over and is now upside down on the hangar exiting the ship. Um, we're going to attempt to board the vessel while the hangar is lowered and see if it will automatically roll over. It is a, uh, Let's see this. I kind of want to see that. I might actually go down there. Damn, I don't know what the hell that's doing. I'm actually gonna go down there. I'm sorry. Then had an idea too. Since it is like bobbing on the uh, the elevator, I might be able to tip the ship and shake it off. Or maybe. Um, we'll reserve that as one of the last options. I don't know if that's. I'm sure abrasive would have a kit. Um, but it may be something we have to resort to. So. Keep it in the uh, keep it in the deck. Yes, sir. I don't like the idea of these vehicles and this debris getting stuck on the ship like this. We've never had this issue before. Uh, are we trading? Uh, semi dot G. What's up? I said, are we trading? Um, yeah, we're traders. We we do trading. Um, you know, we're very peaceful, peaceful players. You know what I mean? We don't. We're not into like the griefing or the pirating or nothing like that. But you know, we definitely know how to defend ourselves. So there's always that. 
I'm just looking at that. Like, why is there a big green outline? You guys hear that? Did it flip over when he got up here? This ain't good. Oh my goodness. Maybe this is something I shouldn't be down here for. this thing explodes down here, I probably, I mean, I'll wake up in sick bay, but still. He's going to have to drop that thing down again. Well, actual, this is logo report. Remember, this is Black Rockwell. We are, st we are standing by for engineering to remove the ground vix before mm. we can uh, attempt to repurchase cargo. Acknowledged. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty tight right now. Um, there's a weird thing going on inside the uh, garage, but they're working on it. So stand by. Copy that. Um, if anything, we'll try to go to local cargo, and if that fails, I uh, will let you know. Acknowledged. Log out. Shit. Good old Star Citizen, eh? Uh, well, I don't even know if it's Star Citizen. This this is uh this seems like if I if I had to gauge it, just emergent gameplay. You have a vehicle that's stuck. You have to tr try to get it unlodged. You got a whole bunch of different things like debris and stuff. Yes, Star Citizen in its ideal working state probably wouldn't even allow for this bug. But you know, we felt we've we've dealt with way worse ridiculousness from Star oh, Citizen. Got the truth. Oh my goodness. This is these are good problems to have. Alright, I'm gonna head down to um the lower decks and see how they're working this problem. Yes, sir. You have the bridge. Gentlemen. If we open Captain. How you guys doing? Uh, I just uh, got down here, I was watching for a little bit. Um Commander, what's going on? Yeah, well we got the vehicle uprighted, but upon uprighting it uh kind of did some uh jumping around inside the hangar here. Yeah. And now it's like we, we got it a position on top of the control panel for a moment. So it's bottoming out. 
and we got it unbottomed out and now we just need to get our line back up on the elevator so we can drop it down. And is there any possible way? This seems like bad physics, but um, you know, uh, yeah. feel free to stab Correct. it in the heart. But is there any way for us to push this side of the ballista to the left with the um, the tumbler, whatever this is? Whatever this is, yeah. uh, it's as good an idea as any gadget. Was that for me? <laughs> Can't confirm that. Okay. I have no idea. Send traffic. <laughs> Advised, uh, the local purchasing is not working as well. Either. Oh, shit. Break. We do have a um, 890 jump that has uh, been intercepted and boarded by outlaws. If we would like to uh, provide some help with that, uh, that has come across the desk. I'm very interested in that. Uh, as, long, as soon as we get this vehicle lined up, uh, yeah, I'm very much interested in that. Uh, stand by. I have a suggestion. Go ahead. If we open the hangar door, would the back end of that drop down? I'm and, afraid it like, will, but since only half of it will be, it'll bottom out into the ship and it'll cause another crazy collision, which I am not willing to risk currently. Considering how wild the last one looked, and it was jumping through the ceiling all the way to the floor, back and forth until it like. And it didn't explode. And it didn't I explode. Was it was so I do ship. not want to risk it again. Yeah. Yeah, it's your call. Uh, I just yeah, that's uh, I don't want so to explode. So I'm the bumping. So, but can you do a? Can you back up as you can, Lost? Just back up and hold down back up for a second here. Hey, uh, okay, you guys continue to work on this. I'll be back in like five minutes. Hey, sir. Hey, broken. Idea. Yes, sir. If the purchasing on the ground isn't working for them, then it doesn't matter if we get this online, uh, does it? No. Okay, well, let's recall them back to the ship and uh, figure out um, where we can go to actually buy something while they're actually figuring out how to dislodge this, because they may have an idea as well. Copy that. You want me to SRS them? Yes. Copy that. Thank you. I'll be back down in uh, lower decks. Blackwell action. This is the boss. Come back. This is Blackwell actual in traffic. Uh, Captain wishes to call up the purchase of the cargo for the moment and to come back on board. Over. Copy that. Away team returning. And when they get back on board, have them report to the garage. Good copy. Oh, sorry. I thought I was still on the bridge. My bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hey, by the way, uh, Blackwell Actual, when you get back on board, go ahead and report to um, the garage as well um, with uh, Abrasive and see if you guys can help with this issue. Copy that, sir. Uh, would you like me to share out that mission for the 890? Yes. Copy. Did you, uh, are you going on that 890 mission? Because I think Abrace is going to be back in the chair. Maybe he doesn't want to be. Um, depends, but. I'll likely. go wherever I'm needed. All right. I'll wait till they get back on board to figure it out, but it's going to be likely that you're going Mission out. If you are in engineering or in operations, you are clear to accept that mission. Uh, Sean P said maybe a small racing vehicle to dislodge it. Yeah, but we, we don't have one of those on board. And um, I don't know if there's anything that we can do to. We've also tried other vehicles. So. Yeah, well, there's another vehicle in there, but it's also on the side that is not really accessible. I mean, 
Chief Engineer doesn't want to do this, but Mr. Anderson suggested that they drop down the elevator and it might actually like flip it, but I'm like, shit. If this thing was jumping up from up and down from the floor to the ceiling and it didn't explode with all this armament on there, it's like, yo. This could have yeah. blown up half the ship. <laughs> right. Anybody in the hard cargo bay. Oh yeah, everybody in the cargo bay would have been, been seriously injured. I did notice though, uh, Commander and Abrasive, uh, they didn't actually come back by foot. They, uh, teleported to the med bay. Oh, did they really? <laughs> I did not see that. I kind of do wish that this was a Star Trek game and we could teleport. Like, in some ways, the fact that this isn't a Star Trek game hurts it because the universe is already fleshed out and you don't have to, like, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Could you imagine if this was a Star Trek game? Yeah, it'd be a lot more, uh, a lot more shortcuts mm -hmm. involved, so to speak. Uh, he said you got to hold the turn for like two seconds before you get the full turn radius. That's interesting. salvageable I'm standing right here just in case he does like flip that thing he, he pops that then he just flies backwards I'm right here he'd come right into me and kill me Yeah, I don't know if he, if he, I think he was. Uh, I, they're a lot, they're a lot more turned <laughs> than, uh, I don't know what this they got going on over here. Yo. All right. Um, so, are you watching it? I am watching it. I'm, I'm here on the, uh, the catwalk here. Okay. Uh, also, uh, I got somebody in the chat saying that uh, you, uh, the you got a the turn radius of the tires is probably not being used as much. But I don't know. I can't confirm that. Maybe he is going for two seconds or whatnot. But I don't know if this is sustainable. I will tell you that we got to get going. I, I was about to say um, <clears throat> since we're being escorted by AirTac. Yeah. Uh, can we verify that nobody, none of them are on the ship and then head out to the uh, AO for the 890 to yeah. keep on time? Absolutely. Okay. And and uh, I'm assuming AirTac is, um, they're still going to be holding uh, AirCap, right? They should still be holding AirCap now, yes, sir. All right, cool. Yeah, we got no uh, Noah here orbiting now, so. All right. Well... I don't know what a abrasive wants to do about this. I mean, it's his gear down here. I think. I mean, I, I think that's his ship in name, right? Yes, sir. Uh, this is Atlas Actual to all personnel aboard the Michelle Nichols. Please vacate the hangar. Please vacate the hangar. Or not the hangar. I'm sorry. Please vacate the cargo yeah. bay. We'll be conducting a exercise here that will be dangerous. Please. Vacate 
you heard the chief engineer uh, evacuate the the garage. I see a bunch of people in there. I'm getting out of there. I, I straight up ran. <laughs> I was like, nope. Commander Broken, you got that. Uh, yeah, you did. Okay. The mission. Yeah. What'd you say? I was making sure that uh, Broken had the mission. Okay. Yeah. For yeah. the 890J, yes. Yeah. Scalpel, we have an uh, accidental explosion with uh, Scalpel 5. Uh, we've lost her and the ship. Whoa. Oh, no. Um. A uh, report to my ready room. I'm going to head my ready room real quick. You guys have the bridge. Mm -hmm. Copy that. Scalpel, roger that. Hey. Uh, open comms, but uh, what happened? Uh, so, Scalpel 5 was sitting about one kilometer above the pad, scanning, and she suddenly exploded. Hmm. Just no no explanation, nothing that it could have been user error at all? Just bug related? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be. Okay. I was a little worried there. Maybe there was an invisible... I keep thinking we're going to run into some invisible troll or some shit. All right. Um, yep. Yeah, have a report back to the uh, fleet as soon as possible. Will do. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Captain uh, Bridge. Uh, as you were. Oh, I'm back, baby. All right. So um, let's go ahead and set a course for the uh, 890. I'm sure down there they're still working on that that crazy mission, but. Um, Let's get the hell out of here. Look at that. Uh, I might, I might need a reshare for that eight nine inch. No worries. I know I accepted a bunch of them, but I don't know if I got that one. There you go. Oh, I'll just say apparently I hadn't accepted any of them. Uh, what's the uh, experiment that they were going to try on that thing down there that was so dangerous? Uh, open the door and hope that the ballista falls into the hole and, and writes itself that way, or at least gets <laughs> into a maneuverable position. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well. I do want to see that. Did he? Did they already drop it? I don't know. Sorry, I'm in the... Doing that, doing some navigating. Did you see the fiery mess that was on the, uh, was it the outdoor hangar here? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, the wreckage yeah. from uh, Megosera? <laughs> it looks like it's split in two. I didn't see it, no. Uh, Captain, was uh, we had clearance to, to take off and head towards 890? Yes. Alrighty, here we go. I just feel like uh, this uh, ballista is a lost cause. I don't know why we're still. Wait, wait, wait. Before you take off, before you take off, did you already take off? I mean, I'm just above the ground. I can set okay, back down. Okay, okay. Go ahead and set back down real quick. I need okay. to figure out if they're going to drop this door or not. Atlas Actual, this is Logo. Come back. Go for Atlas Actual. Are you guys going to drop that uh, door? Are you guys going to do the experiment or are you already try it? Uh, it's already been attempted. The ballista did not move. All right, we're going to go ahead and egress to our next location. Um, prepare uh, an away team for an 890 mission. Good copy. All right, you're clear for egress engage. Roger that. Roger I don't know what we're going to do about that. Uh, I was going to ask you what you wanted to do about that. Um, if it's really not in the way for what we're doing, I'll just I'll do something with it later. I'll just take it out in the middle of nowhere and start shooting at it or something. All right. Well, I don't even know if you can get it out. Oh, you mean inside? 
yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'll, like I said, I'll figure something out. You know, nothing that destroys the 890 because I don't feel like going through all the motions to restock it. But yes, uh, <laughs> that's why I knew you didn't want to do anything that had to do with like storing or you know blowing it up or anything like that. Well, blowing it up in there, I don't think it would cause a whole lot because I've definitely accidentally blown ships up inside the 890 before, and yeah. it doesn't really hurt the 890. Well, if that's the case, that might be an option. Could be. Uh, Scalpel, I need to report back to the crash site um, to pick up the equipment. I won't be uh, following along the Michelle Nichols at this moment unless uh, commanded. Are you going to need any help there, or are you just going to be there by yourself? Over. Be advised, we need some air tech. Uh, I've got Cosmic down here to help out with that. That's all our air tech. Oh, we yeah, need, uh, cool. sir, we need some air tech because the 890 jump will present us with hostiles uh, when we approach. Ben is in the AO. He's more than capable of taking to... Uh... And then, if, is Sarah going to be on her way from, a, from Wide Forest? I'm assuming back to the uh, Her marker would indicate somewhere's a micro tech area. Shit. Okay, could we get away with one air tag? I believe so, sir. Uh, Commander Broken? Uh, I'm pretty sure Ben can do it. Okay, if if that we can call Ben, and we also have those Furies down there, so if we gotta deploy those. Uh, yeah, Ben and I and a Fury, we can definitely take them out, I think. Yeah, let's Perfect. do it. Let's do it. Um, go ahead and head down there. Um, I mean, Bowflex, how you, how's your uh, Fury fighting skills? Are you sure we can only get away with just two? Do we need three? We have two down there, and if Ben... If, uh, and with Ben? With Ben, that would be plenty, sir. So who's going to be the third pilot? Uh, we have lots of engineering that is down there. So we have uh, Commander DePalsak, we have Discord, Lost AI, Mr. Anderson, or I can take it myself. We need a we need a fighter. We need someone who can do air attack duties. Um, okay, I'll, I'll take it. Yep. We've pop we popped in the area, but I'll uh, hang out outside the AO until we've uh, got it sorted. All right, run scans. Make sure we're alone. Right of that. So far, so good, sir. And we're sixty kilometers from the eight ninety, so we can actually jump into that uh, when we're ready. Just for a little bit of quickness. All right. Once the team is ready for deployment, then we'll jump in. Roger that. Ready when everyone else is, but All no right. rush. I'm taking the fury with the guns. Nice. Is <laughs> that the, the one? With, oh, there's the one with the missiles, right? Yeah, there's yeah. a missile version and a gun version. There's one of each down there. I forget which one's which. Yeah. I got the paint packs for them, and I painted them and then something happened and I painted them again but I think I painted them reverse of what I painted before so I can't remember which one's which until I go on there and look at it. Good like that. Alright Commander, I'm going to drag us down to the away team. I'm arriving at the hangar now. Yes sir. I need to check on the uh, security team so I'm going to step into my uh, ready room but uh, XO you have the bridge. Uh, XO is going away on the Fury, sir. Oh, I know. Um, okay. You still have command. Okay, copy that. Yeah, because you're 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 gonna go on that 890 mission, right? Yes, sir. I'm uh, loading up on the Fury right now. All right, uh, broken. You'll take uh, operation duties. Oh no, broken's going with you. Who's staying behind? Uh, abrasive. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, well then it's abrasive then, obviously. <laughs> Uh, I'm copy, back. Copy, copy due, to, due to lack of all of our other options. Yeah, I'll do, yeah it's literally <laughs> the only option remaining. All right, I'll be back. Legion, this is Logo. Come back. Logo, this is Legion. Send traffic. Report. Logo status report. Um, we are currently finishing a mission on the yellow surface um, involving enemy combatants. Break. We've currently completed two other missions, uh, one involving a dogfighting situation and the other being a bunker clearing mission. Um, we have no casualties and are currently status screen. Legion over. Great report, Legion. Logo out.
Sorry about that, man. I was so fucking fluffed and mustered earlier. Um, There's so much going on right now. And it's so just, much it's shit going on, days. dog. It's just one of those juggle days. Um, yeah, so just I got... So you, what's sorry. up? I was going to say, just so you know, I still have two Caterpillars. So if we ever want to do another cargo thing, I would highly recommend using one of those. Yeah. In fact, I did not know until trying to do that with this that that probably wasn't the best idea. However... You know, we normally don't even have vehicles down in there, so. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a little different for what's been carried on board as the regular lately. Yeah. Uh, any any kind of thing Whoa. like ooh, something happened. That was Commander Bowman. I think we may have lost. Blue him. Rise, Blackwell actual uh, blew up inside the hangar. <laughs> we sure did. Um, damage oh. report on the nickels. We're we're a little fucking uh, we're a little hurt. Okay. Uh, nothing, nothing serious, but we've definitely took damage on that. All right. You do a full uh, systems check and make sure everything's still online that we need. Uh, I need a full report on that, what exactly happened. Uh, I'll, I'm heading down to uh, get that report right now. Gotcha. That I'll come over when I've got a good one for uh, for systems check. Yep. You all right? Uh, yes, sir. I uh, woke up in sick bay, so I I'm fine. Yeah, um, I'm heading down the ship, there to meet the, you. But what the, the hell sh happened? The ship's not though. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. So my luck with hangar bays today or garages is not uh, in the cards, sir. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So I'm assuming it was you were just. Logo, this is Sagan Four. I've got uh, damage report when you're ready, sir. Stand by. I'll be back in three minutes. Um, I'm going to assume that you were trying to take off and something happened with the physics. Uh, I'm in the AO for the Inanti mission. Uh, we do have a uh, red contact permission to engage. You're clear to engage. I, I believe so. Some, uh, something happened, and I hit the back of the ship, uh, and the Fury uh, blew up. What? What's the status on the other Fury? I'm assuming it's other too. Oh. No, sir. Oh. The other Fury took off, and it is in the air. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I I have working missiles, but I can't get the guns to work apparently. Oh shit! There like might be some abrasive can help you with because I'm not sure. I think somebody else had that issue. Yes, uh, I'll pull abrasive in. There was a lever to the top right or top left, but I'm going to pull abrasive in. Yep. Sir. Lieutenant Commander Abrasive, on the Furies sure. to power on the weapons, that was oh. a lever on the top left? Um, Top right, if I'm remembering correctly, puts the, uh, puts the, the wings down into that attack formation. Uh, but it's clearly labeled uh, wings or something like that. It is very close to the self-destruct switch as well, though. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know what you did, but I know that those two buttons are pretty close to each other, but they are well marked, but yeah. Oh, that was... No, no. I, I wrecked the ship. That's that's what happened with uh, the Fury there. Um, this was for Commander Broken. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's. Yeah. Uh, I want to say it's top right, um, but it's a, it's a no-kidding, like, lever. Uh, like think of an old 40 style airplane flap lever up top. It looks like that, and you just slam it forward, and, uh, um, and you get to go. Uh, I believe Alt K does the same thing, but I'm not 100 percent sure about that. Yeah, I, I figured out how to get the guns working now. Okay. Seems like the AO is empty, so I'm headed on board the 890. Kind of. Scalpel, this is Blackwell Actual. Uh, good copy. Uh, Captain, these, what Broken said. Yep. was that uh, AO is clear and we are good to clear enter. All right. Well, um, let's, uh, I mean, as soon as we're able to jump there, he's, let's he's do that. Muted. Oh, me? Am I muted? Oh, shit. Damn, my bad. Um, well, uh, we are clear to jump there whenever we're ready. What's preventing us from jumping there? Uh, the command. Yeah. Um, if there's nothing, no objections, yeah, we can jump there. Is the, uh, the, the away team ready for deployment? Let me see. Uh, and that's uh, the Paul Sacks putting that together, right? Well, let me find out. Hello, Gentlemen. Go ahead. Who all's going on the uh, the 890 mission? 
that'll be just one uh, from engineering for now. Okay. So who's, who's I'll that? go ahead and send. Uh, it's gonna be uh, me or Lost. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and send. Uh, I'll go. Uh, Lost. Go ahead. To put that party together, sir. Resend. Okay, Roger that. I believe Demoros was volunteering to put that party together, the away party. Okay, he has well one person being sent from engineering, which is going to be, who's going to be? Lost. Lost AI. Would you, Logo Blackwell, actually, would you like a medical compliment, which would be myself? Yes. Copy. All right, looks like I got. Scout permission to on the second floor along with the away team. Works for me. Permission granted. Um, that looks like the team just kind of formed itself. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, okay. All right, gentlemen, um, go ahead and prepare for that. Uh, I wasn't going to jump into the AO until we're ready, but it looks like we're on the clock. Logo, this is Legion Ashley. Good copy. Go ahead. Uh, during a rendezvous, we had a, a collision with a debris field in Armistice. Um, so our ship was destroyed, but we've all spawned back on the Nichelle Nichols. How copy? Legion over. Oh, uh, that's a good copy. We're dealing with a shit show over here. Um, we had a uh, explosion in our hangar bay and uh, a couple of issues in our in our garage. But um, are you trying to get back out there in the fight, or are you stay you staying on board? Over. Depending on the status of the away mission, uh, we could join you guys. Uh, depending on your plans, Legion over. Hey, the more the merrier. Report to Mister Broken. I'm sure he'll put you to work. Uh, I think they're going to be in the away team. Uh, chat, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, wait team. Acknowledge logo. Legion out. All right. So it uh, looks like we're going to have a, a, a nice uh, party compliment going on that away mission. So I'm assuming everybody who's going is being sent here. Uh, we're actually, uh, Cosmic and I are on site and clearing it. You guys there now? Uh, more, than ha more than halfway swept the mission. Oh, really? Damn. Okay. Well, um, if they can help, that's fine. Uh, if not, ooh, uh, I'm down. Trying to get there, but Captain. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, I was just monitoring what was going on down there. We still dealing with that vehicle thing? It sounds like it. Wow, that's the first time I didn't overshoot a target because of this thing. <laughs> mm. uh, right, I'm just uh, maneuvering us next to it so they have a relatively short walk. It's moving. Logo, this is Blackwell Actual. Sent traffic. Be advised, I have the away team with Legion Actual. Uh, they're collecting in the docking collar, and we are standing by when we're ready. Yeah, we're we're in position. They can they can jump anytime they're ready. As far as I'm concerned. All right. Um, there seems to be some confusion because I heard Broken and Cosmic are already on site clearing. And if they are. Um, I, I do see that, but I've still got the count of four hostiles on board. Yeah. Um, well, I do want 
us to scavenge all of the guns and the armor. So um, that team can still be used for that, but obviously not ideal execution the way I wanted it. So we're going to call another 890 mission and we're going to do it right. <laughs> Works for me. Um, we do have uh, relatively minor damage to the hangar area. Most mm -hmm. of it's on the top of uh, top external of the ship, but there is some um, much more minor damage on the bottom of the ship. Okay. Um, I think we're okay, but I would highly recommend not exploding another ship inside the hangar. Okay. Well, right now, I'm going to have them cease all these operations because um, I'm not sure what's going on with this, but uh, let's see. Uh, this is the captain. Be advised, sir. Um, I lost power and I'm trying to get back. I'm on my phone right now. You lost power in your house? Yeah, in my house. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Gee, okay. No worries, no worries. All right, you'll get back. Hey, uh, hey, for real, if you can't get your power back on, you can come stay with me. You don't need to be in the heat and all that shit. You come live at my house until your shit's fixed. You can bring, bring your dog, <laughs> bring your cat. I don't care. <laughs> so, I, I'll, I'll, so who was on that away team with you? Uh, that would have been Legion Actual. Legion Actual was, uh, they had spawned back, and they were uh, getting, sorry, that's everything powering back on. Um, they were getting prepped, but Demoris was already aboard the ship because they cleared the site, or they cleared the uh, ships ahead with air tag. Okay. So, um, I'm going to step away and try to get all my stuff figured out here. Um, I will jump back on my cam. Yep. They look like they're making progress. I'm trying to figure out if I want to let them continue or not. Well, they've only got two hostiles left. I mean, it's now one. No, 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 not them. I'm talking about uh, engineering. I already, oh, oh. I already have conceded the 890 jump mission. We're going to have to do another one. Gotcha. Looks like uh, Sarah is heading towards us, but mm -hmm. she's still quite a ways away. Objective complete. Clear all hostiles. All right. So. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to just allow the away team to go and police up all that gear or if I just want us to go do another one real quick. Well, if uh, if you're open to suggestions or at least sounding yeah, board. Yeah, I am. Um, the, the whole idea was to get gear, right? Yeah. So I would say get gear. Yeah. Um, should be the priority then. And then if we have time, we sh should go do another 890. And at that point, obviously, we can get more gear, but we can also practice, you know, the, yeah. the deployment. That's uh, fine. And all that yes. Stuff. Send send the guys to, to get the gear. You want me to give them a call? Yeah. And that would, uh, am I contacting Demoros? Um, well, whoever's in the away team, so. Sure. In fact. Uh, okay, I'll call uh, Blackwell yeah. Actual then. Yeah. All right. Oh no, Blackwell Actuals. Remember, he's not. He's not. Um, his power is off right now. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, here I'm gonna go down there real quick. Very nice, gentlemen. Captain on the bridge. As you were. Um, were, were you guys uh waiting to go to the 890 mission, right? We were, sir. Okay, so I still want you guys to go over there, but I want you guys to go over there and police up all the uh the weapons and From the uh, armor. Requesting permission to dock with the UFS Nichelle Hi, Nichols. And then we're going to do another 890 mission where we're actually going to deploy and clear together. Cool. Cool, Captain. Cool. All right. Hmm. Tomorrow's the second four. You're clear to land. Uh, give us a few minutes. Okay. Something blew up. Just said something that uh, blew up. 
All right, so obviously I am wanting to keep the explosion of things on my ship down. We've had two today. Agreed. Yeah, I confirmed the explosion was felt. Uh, stand by, I believe it had something to do with the vehicle movement. Uh, yes, it does have to do with the vehicle movement. Be advised, the Lynx is, the Lynx is no longer uh, functional in the garage. <laughs> Shit. All right, well, that's a thing. Copy on spare parts. Yeah, that's what I was afraid yeah. of. Um, upside is that didn't hurt the ship. Yeah, I thought it would, though. <laughs> I was worried about that. So I'm I've just going to seesaw yeah. operations and engineering. Okay. Um, this is the captain. Uh, seesaw operations and engineering uh, regarding the ballista and uh, everything related to the uh, the links and everything. We're just going to concede that and uh, figure out what we're going to do after that. Logo out. Um. I also want to find another. Good copy. I also want to find another uh, 890 jump mission real quick, but since okay. the guys are going over there to scavenge, yeah. Um, um, what's up? Oh, I yeah. So I don't know who's available, but uh, Captain Holmes is uh, hanging out in the Fury, and he's ready to land. But uh, the hangar doors are closed. Yeah. Do we, have, do we have somebody that can open those up? Wait, say that again. Do we have someone that can open the hangar doors for Commander Holmes or for Captain Holmes? Well, he's commander, and yeah, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Hayes is the only other captain oh. in the fleet. Oh, that's who I was thinking of. My yeah, bad. Yeah, um, there should be somebody down there. Is, I mean, shit, Discord, Lost AI, um, anybody down there? Uh, All right, I'll give uh, I'll give Atlas Five a call. Mm -hmm. Atlas Five, second four. Second four is Atlas Five over. Uh, at your immediate discretion, sir, could you head forward to the hangar bay and just open up the doors so that Commander Holmes can uh, land in his fighter, please? Roger, Roger. Roger, thank you. Yeah, he's actually dragging a body right now. Well, yeah, ho hopefully he read out the uh, immediate discretion. Just get up there when you can, but it's yeah. just, you know, when you can. Yeah, he just looted the box instead. I mean, we'll figure it out. But yeah, that was um, two explosions in one day on the ship. Not that's good. two explosions within five minutes of each other. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's the first one great. was way worse. The first one was I, I thought like we lost the front half of the ship. Well, if we do that again, we will. I bet. Which means yeah. we're probably gonna have us head towards a. Uh, well, well, we'll head towards home probably after this. Probably scrap that other 890 mission. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for whatever. Um, I, hopefully nothing I've said was discouraging. No, and, and not at all. I'm, I'm not dog. upset that my ship's messed mm, up. Or, nah, dog, it's all Star Citizen, man. Yeah. You know it's how just it is. Yeah. yeah. We've had crazier situations than this. We've always mm -hmm. come out. <laughs> Yeah, not not this one, but just 890s in general, I want to say I've probably crashed in a horrible way about 10 times. Lost the whole ship. Mm. And some of it was Star Citizen. Actually, most of it was Star Citizen. <laughs> and a couple times with just other people being jerks. Yeah. Oh, I had, uh, I had said something to... Um, Commander Bowflex, uh, but just FYI, and I'll RSVP as appropriate. I was already planning on not being here on the 20th, but it mm -hmm. looks like I'm not going to be here on the 12th as well. But okay. I, that should be the only two that I miss. Okay. Yeah, we're getting, you know, we're getting ready to hit drawdown season two in um, at the end of September. So we're going to start um, doing more of our recruiting and training. As I can see, there's still some things we need some work on. Yeah. We've had a lot of good days, though. Oh, so yeah. No, this isn't a bad day. This isn't a bad yeah. day at all. This is the game being the game. And, mm -hmm. you know, there's no system or server breaking issues like that prevents us from playing. So it's just all just in the game shit. Um, however, I am going to need to see uh, who was the people who cleared the bunker? Was it broken and cosmic? That I am not sure on. 
I keep I keep getting distracted by explosions. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. There's so much going on. It's a hell of a day. Yeah. This is a this is a story though, you know, one of these days we'll look back on all this and be like, Hey, remember that time? And everybody will yeah. laugh. He looks hurt. Damn. Who's that? Mr. Broken. I mean he's limping pretty bad. Oh wow. I've got a med gun floating around here somewhere if you He's going to sick bay. It's right it's right oh, there. Okay. Yeah. But he definitely, um, I mean, the thing is, is I want to know who was with him. I'm going to go talk to him. Roger. Actually, I'm going to have him report to my ready room. I'm drag him. From Captain Gray, Demaro's report to the captain's ready room. Yes, sir. Um, we just need to put the team together then. So whoever is, whoever was supposed to go on that original away mission. Um, yeah, I think Heisenberg would be a good one to lead it up. Yeah. Are they still on there? Cause Heisenberg's on an away mission right now. Oh, is he? Oh yeah. Sorry. I just, I thought they were here and no, nope. in fact, I mean, we're approaching our TV time anyway. I'm actually going to just check to see if we got all that gear from the 890 right now. Don't we guys? Well, don't we got guys over there right now? Uh, yeah, anything? they are. They are gearing up over there as we speak. All right. Once they're back, we're probably going to call RTV. Very well, sir. All right. Um, yeah, meet me on the bridge. Uh, we'll probably just uh, hang out on the bridge and because we got Ben in the away team uh, chat, and since we're not going to be doing another away team, we're probably just going to call our TV. So yeah, I'll hit you on the bridge. But yeah, you definitely need medical attention for sure. Logo, this is Legion Actual. Be advised, the security team is deporting the enemy 890 and returning to the USF Michelle Nichols. Legion Acknowledge Legion. As soon as you guys are on board, we're most likely going to call RTB, but uh, go ahead and uh, divvy up the loot and make sure um, we got that stored on board. And uh, we're probably going to head back towards base. Uh, we have a tier one medical emergency we have to address. I'll copy. Good copy on last logo. Legion over. 
All right, all fleet assets, um, once you're done with your duties and your mission, go ahead and report to fleet formation when we do RTB, because we will be calling RTB very shortly. Helm, go ahead and set a course for wide forest station and stand by for my mark. Uh, this is Atlas Actual to uh, Sagan 4. This is Sagan 4, go ahead, sir. Uh, be advised, I have one Mr. Anderson EVAing on board right now. Roger, copy. Uh, just uh, keep us advised when everyone's on board and uh, that'll be one step closer to heading home. Good copy. Should be uh, clear to engage if we have everybody. Uh, yeah, I believe uh, Mr. Anderson was the last one. All right, you're clear to engage. Right. Roger that. We'll get calibrated up and we'll head on out. And uh, you have a course set for home, right? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, all fleet assets, we are calling RTB at this time. Uh, go ahead and report to our home base, and we will have a quick fleet formation afterwards uh in which i will meet you guys in fleet formation and then we'll do a quick seniors meeting and then our will release but wow oh. wow a lot of explosions today yeah more explosions than i wanted yeah well i don't mind them so much it was just the proximity of the explosions that yeah. i was thinking about yeah well but. i mean think about it if we can have you know if we can have missions with as minimum explosions as possible going off in our face i'd prefer that i'm with you on that one yeah One more jump to go, and then probably about five minutes until we're docked. Activated. Awesome. Drive. I hate that the sun's always in our face. Mm -hmm. I've gotten lucky a few times and been able to like spin the ship so the sun is technically like below the horizon. Yeah, the yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, I usually don't have that luck, and it depends on like what kind of windscreen I've got in the ship too, because some of them are just a lot more open. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow, what a mission. <laughs> that was uh, definitely a unique one. Yeah, hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping that they still give us see, the ability to fucking base build, but I'm not holding my breath. Well, we'll have a floating base if we can get the Kraken. It's true. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to that guy. I still got to figure out a name for it. Mr. Ben. How's it going, Greg? What's up, brother? I didn't want you just sitting in the away team by yourself. Oh, shit. Was I alone in there? Yeah, you were just sitting there by yourself. I was like, <laughs> Fuck, hey. dude. I thought everybody was just focused and quiet. <laughs> oh, my God. We are on open comms, uh, too, by the way, just so you know. All right. That's fine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll eventually deliver on the base building, but when that is, is highly questionable. Yeah. It's always wet. Like all the work they've done into like their automated building blocks for stations and habs and stuff like that, like that's eventually going to come to us too. What's the best base building game that exists? 
Rust? Mine. But uh, official game with no mods, probably. Rust, yeah. Once you start throwing mods in there, I don't know. There's way too fucking many. I can't. I don't. Can't keep up with it all. I mean, mods are free though, right? It's not like you have to pay for those. Yeah, but if you open up Rust or Daisy or whatever like that and search in building mods, there's hundreds of different types made by different people. Hmm. Uh, well, I want us I want us to get some practice in and building bases, you know what I mean? Like before. But they're not, well, like, you know. That the base building might make... be 5 years away in Star Citizen. True. And I highly doubt Star Citizen will be like build this wall here and this wall here. It'll be like this kind of hab section and it gets placed as a whole wherever. Right. Is what my guess the earliest iteration will be. Never actually played Russ. Oh shit. You yeah. Talk, you talk about a fucking super toxic ass. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. That's I played it for like eight or ten hours. Yeah. I got like three thousand hours in Daisy, so. Yeah. Daisy does look pretty good. Call of Duty is bad enough, but I can at least like mute randos that I don't know on that game and just enjoy the game by itself. Right. But, yeah. I don't really enjoy games when people get too toxic. Yeah. Well, I think there is a way you can mute for the most part other people, but like, I don't know if I if I remember correctly, we had our own private server, and we would just like build our own like stuff and do our own thing on our own private server which is what I kind of prefer anyway mm -hmm. like especially because it's not like our main continuity game our main continuity game is this so it's like yeah no that that's that makes sense I could see myself playing something like that Alright, I'm going to head up to uh, Fleet Formation uh, whenever you guys are ready. It looks like we're docking now, so. It should just be another minute. Alright. Great with me. Uh, I mean, actually, I did kill us. Clams. Captain on the bridge. As uh, you were. Yeah, uh, guys doing? Captain. Kapla. Uh, yeah, it was almost a good day to die, it, considering there was two explosions that went off in my face today. Well, we had our own explosion, so I guess that could be added to the tally. Yeah, for sure. So three explosions in the day? I mean, Jesus Christ. No, yeah, four. Had Sarah had Oh, one. damn. Damn. Ours was desync related. Yeah, that sucks. But this was guys... like the, the worst server performance I've seen in years. Really? It was kind of, yeah, we were, hmm. at least everyone in the team was experiencing pretty significant frame drops and stuff like that. It was I an intermittent, though, about a, you know, minute or two between them damn but we got our mission done and we killed a lot of enemies so that's what i like to hear i'll have to drink some blood wine hell yeah uh all hands were clear to deep board <clears throat> um looks like we are docked up and everything's good uh i'm away for uh the lower decks um to get here and then we'll kind of be debrief it'll be an open comms debrief um because there's there's nothing really critical i need to go into it was um kind of star citizen being star citizen today and i kind of want to talk about that because we, our our ability to adjust to star citizen being star citizen is the best part of what we do it's not always going to work it's not always going to be you know smooth but as long as we have that attitude of like it's a part of the game um you know it's i'm way more interested in that Private scene. We're deboarding. Awesome. To your, to your left. Yeah, here's here's a stupid it. stupid fun fact about the 890. When it's docked, and you're you get turned around and you're not sure which way to go, you go down the darker hallway of the two for the airlock. Mm. It's it's noticeably mm. darker on the one that's actually attached to the station. I don't know why they did it that way. 
it's counterintuitive, but uh, if you have to guess, it may not be uh, intended. That's well, yes, that's possible. But it's been that way for as long as I can remember. Or you can just wait until I get to an ASOP terminal and store the ship, and then you'll just be on the station anyway. We got everybody. Commander Broken looks injured. Yeah, he's like yeah. limping along. Yeah, he whooped like seven dudes' ass at his, at the same time, and he limped away. They all died. I think it's more like five or six, but yeah. Yeah. Kapla. I love it. All right, we got everybody. Is that everybody here? All stations, all. Oh, Negative. No. Sir. We're missing. We're missing air attack. Yeah. Uh, scalpel elements, uh, please report to fleet formation when ready. All right. Um, who are we missing? Cosmic? There he is. All right. Um, I'm going to do this uh, debriefing on open comms today since there's no real um, anything critical or OPSEC that I, I need to withhold from the public. But um, And thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us and whatnot. Um, today was a good day. Uh, there was a couple of things, obviously, that we did not want, which was you know many, many explosions going off in our faces and stuff like that. Uh, most of it was game related. It wasn't really us. But when Star Citizen is being Star Citizen um, and everybody's attitude is still hey. up and their energy is uh, positive and all that type of stuff, um, that's one of the main reasons why we have what we have and it's as valuable as it is. Uh, Star Citizen is not always going to be you know, smooth and it's not always going to run correctly and there's always going to be glitches that kind of screw up our ability to do things like couldn't even buy supplies on the on the the planet that we were on and you know it happens but again attitude demeanor you know our just temperature is very light and we're always willing to roll with the punches so um, it's good for other people to see that but I always appreciate that because you know nothing sucks more than you know the game sucking and then you know you're playing with people who are also magnifying that suck so <laughs> you guys don't do that I appreciate it um, XO, you got thoughts for today? Uh, Bowflex, where's he at? I don't hear him. Oh, he's, he's, he's muted. Power. He's muted. Oh, that's right. And he lost power today. So. Oh no. Yeah, I lost power. power. All right. Uh, did you want? Uh, did you want to brief the crew? Did you want to pass? Uh, I'll, I'll I'll pass for now. Uh, great work, everyone. You know. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, broken? Nothing special for me. All right. Uh, DePaulSec. Um, we started having to deal with some difficulties. Mm -hmm. uh, like when I showed up, there was already stuff happening. <laughs> there was already an emergency some, you had to attend. We already to, had yeah. some, yeah, we had some portions of a ship lodged in the hangar, and it kind of like more things just cascaded from there on the server. And uh, we tried to deal with it. We ended up dislodging one piece of a wing, and we didn't actually get it removed from the ship. We just got it dislodged. Um, and that was the only thing engineering was about able to actually like say we accomplished today. But other than that, all of the rest of our stuff did not go well. And <laughs> you know, sometimes that's just what happens. But yeah. uh, it was a, uh, it was, it was nice being able to hang out with everybody today. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, when I saw that there was debris and that we had to, like, do all the whole MacGyvering to try to get it, I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be one of those days, for sure. It's going to be one of those days. So I didn't I didn't really mind. Um, but I'm glad you, you guys were able to experience that, um, you know, at least in a, in a non-shitty way. Um, Heisenberg. Uh, you know, aside from the, the technical Star Citizen stuff, you know, we had a great mission. Uh, security was out in the black doing doing our thing clearing some bunkers and yep. uh keeping keeping space safe um i don't know it, it was just a ple pleasure to work with everybody today you know you're only as good as your team and uh just working with such you know skilled people and sort of you know being in command being able to kind of 
play chess with the, you know, my rook, my queen, you know, yeah. and move them around, get them in the position where they need to be. And, uh, man, I just feel blessed. So yeah. Kapla, everybody. Drink oh, some yeah. blood wine. Kapla. I appreciate Kapla. that. Kapla. Well, um, Mr. Ben? Oh, not much. I, uh, apparently ditched out and was sitting in the channel alone. I thought everybody <laughs> was just zoned in for a while. It's all good. Well, you're only down there for like five <laughs> minutes, but it was, it was five minutes. You didn't notice that you were down there. So it was hilarious. I was like, has Ben no in the, in the away mission, uh, channel by himself? Uh, ab abrasive. Uh, uh, nothing crazy for me. Um, just, you know, kind of echoing everybody else. Uh, sometimes things happen, but it seems like we dealt with it really well. Uh, if anyone was uh, directly involved in any of the accidental destruction of uh, the ships on board the 890 and you're concerned that I might take that personally, uh, I don't. Um, <laughs> it's it's just stuff. So uh, the best part is that you're okay and that, you know, we can recover from that. Yeah, first thing I did was run to sick bay. Every time we, we I felt like we lost somebody, I was running to sick bay to check on them. Like, you all right, man? You all right? You good? <laughs> and then, you know, Broken gets up and he's limping. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck happened to you? He's like, I won. <laughs> That's what happened. He's <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> he's all grizzled and shit. I'm like, all right, well, I guess he I hate won. hate to see the other guy. Yeah, I hate right? to see the other guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So, yeah, that was. Side note. Go ahead. Oh, on a side note on that, uh, on Broken, like, that animation's pretty cool. He's it really is. He's holding his side, limping along. It really is. Pretty cool. It's awesome. Uh, Cosmic. Uh, just that good attitude, uh, everybody. A uh, special shout-out to uh, Abrasive, the, the call-out uh, of hearing an explosion going, okay, okay, copy on spare parts. Yeah. We, we were laughing so hard <laughs> on the... I'm, I'm glad I made you laugh. Yeah, yeah, it was either that or joke of the night was I uh, lost AI for his chronotons reference. Oh well, okay, <laughs> that not was to take that from not to take that from Lost, but was that, that yours? Was kind of, that was my uh, and oh, I, I hate to give Miss Give credit. So <laughs> yeah, that's his well, no, his I mean, yeah. Lost Lost had the guts to say it after I did, and I was giggling my ass off. So okay, you know, he's he still gets credit. All right, all right. Well, somebody's got to get credit for it. Somebody's got to get credit for joke of the night. Uh, comment in the chat says, uh, I would love to watch more of you all playing. The way you all work together is inspiring. Do you guys all play all, every Sunday? Yes, we do. We actually do play every Sunday. Um, let's see. Who's and next? we love it. And we do love it. Um, uh, I do Cosmic? have one incident to report uh, for our future procedures. Uh, there was uh, on the jump to the ground location on Walla. I jumped right after the 890, and uh, it was taking me through the exact same path. So if mm. you guys were not moving, by the time I ended that jump, I would be inside the 890. That was a bit dangerous, and we probably need to do a, a, a procedure around that, but that's something for another time. Yeah, that is worth looking into. Um, with all the explosions that took place today, the last thing I need is a ship being, you know, fucking warping into another ship. I mean, that's literally yeah. the last thing we need. Um, so, oh, I, no, thank I, you on that. Yeah. I saw the, the 890 full of people, like, approaching right in front of me, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm about to blow up the entire formation. <laughs> <laughs> Which has happened before. I mean, we, we've actually had that sort of situation happen where something goes off in the ship and there's a warp core breach and we don't all get out in time, and hey, you know, we're, we're in the Q continuum. Uh, let's see. Uh, Frixis. <laughs> it was a good run. Um, unfortunately, we ran into some debris, and it was interesting to pop back on the ship and continue on. Yeah, that's why I, I always appreciate when you guys are, are, you know, signed into sick bay because it's like if something happens, you wake up on board. We usually have, you know, Furies on board. We usually have other things on board so you can get back out there. It's not the, the, the perfect fix, but it's a fix. Uh, Mr. Noah. I uh, had a really good night. Um, appreciate everybody helping out with air tech. We did. Uh, just had that one minor hiccup there with the random explosion, but got that all sorted out and the equipment recovered. So turned out all right in the end. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, Manifest was just awesome today. Appreciate you for it, Mr. Vermin. Well, it sounds like I missed the shit hitting the fan and uh, Medical Bay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just a real great mission. Uh, 
Commander Heisenberg is a great leader. Were you on the away team? Yes, I was. Hell yeah. Good stuff. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad you guys were able to kick some ass out there. Uh, anything else? Nope, that is it. Awesome. Uh, Sarah? Uh, well, spare parts and technical issues aside, <laughs> I had a lot of fun flying with everyone. And the air attack had a number of uh, pretty good intercepts. And since I can actually credit it to one person, you get joke of the night. Um, Discord? Well, I may not be uh, able to tout the glory of limping home with battle wounds like Mr. Broken over here and Tales of Victory, but... <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> you know, I got to fulfill my role, which is standing around doing engineering shit. So, yeah, uh, I, I do want to have a, a hilarious conversation about that. <clears throat> um, quickly, there are going to be times where <clears throat> we have to maneuver things in bays and stuff like that. And I always want you guys to be careful um, in the context of if this is the true death of a spaceman and each death matters. You don't need to waste a death on a vehicle that we can, you know, spawn store. And, you know, if we just need to wait till the end of the mission or something like that. I do appreciate you guys' problem solving um, acumen and you guys trying to figure that out. So I'm not going to knock you for that. Um, you know, but it is something that where it's like if it's not working for us and we need your resources somewhere else, then drop that and, and we'll figure that out when we get back to base. Cool. 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 Uh, cool. Uh, anything else? Uh, Discord? That's all for me, sir. Thank you. All right. Lost AI. Uh, happy to be here. Uh, missed you guys last uh, weekend with the admin week uh, stand down or the admin day. And uh, just be careful when you guys are traversing the Stanton system out there this week. And I look forward to seeing you guys next weekend. Absolutely. Mr. Anderson. Not much to put in here. I'm just glad to be here. Glad to have you. And Jiron Singh. It was a pleasure serving with you guys today. Absolutely. It's good to have you. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to have uh, the team leads. Um, basically, if you had a, a o o OIC position today, go ahead and meet me in the fleet command. Everybody else, um, I do need to figure out who has the chair next week. Uh, I know I had spoke to Sarah about it. Then we had an admin day. Um, I do. You do have first crack at it if you do want it. But if you do want more time to prep for it, then you can rotate that and just schedule it. Um, but just go ahead and message me if that's something that you want to do. Copy that, Captain. All right. Uh, everybody else, great job. Um, we'll see you next week. And don't forget, because we're preparing for our drawdown, we only have like maybe a month or two left of fighting season. So we're probably going to get into some real shit over the next couple couple months. Well, cool. 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 All right. I'll cool. see you guys uh, later. Um, seniors on me. Captain. Mm-hmm. Uh, acting CMO, do you need yes, me? Yes, I do. Copy. Yes. One last thing before we all go everywhere, since everybody made so many comments. Yep. About my limping, gotta give Cosmic kudos for picking me up twice off the deck. Oh, really? Hell yeah, yeah. that's true battle buddy yeah. shit right there. Gotta love that. Um, that seniors meeting is gonna be in my, uh, my ready room, by the way. Yes, sir. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace. Um, and on that note, I'm actually going to end the stream. I appreciate everybody in the stream. Um, we'll see you guys next week. Peace.